Hi everyone, it's Razi Alkane, I'm back with another video. Everybody's quiet upstairs playing with dark toys, it's Christmas morning, I'm still in my PJs. But my hair looked okay, so I figured, and hey, why not shoot a quick uh, video, and I want to show you guys one of my Christmas haul. Generation Select Galvatron. I broke my rule of having only one version of each character. I already have the Kingdom Galvatron, which is a fantastic mold. I realized I didn't do a review on, on him, so today we're going to take a look at both figures really happy I have the uh, Generation Selects because of the nostalgia. I didn't have this toy as a kid, but my friend did lend it to me one time for a road trip for some reason. And I remember all those ratchet noise driving my dad's nuts. And so I couldn't play with uh, the toy, but I really, really enjoyed the transformation of the G1 toy back then. And when I saw the colors on this one, I tried to hold back and not buying as much as I can. But I guess I kept talking about it because my wife eventually said, well, why well, don't we go at Toys R Us and pick it up as an extra Christmas gift for you. So the toy wasn't a surprise, but the feeling of having him was still uh, very, very uh, pleasant. So without further delay, we're going to take a look at both toys and I hope you enjoy it. Now Decepticons, learn the price of your disloyalty. So both out of the box. I don't know which one I prefer. There is the extremely cartoon accurate one and then there's the extremely toy accurate one i think both figures are amazing the different paint application makes both of them really shine and i think they both do honors to their original counterpart now, kingdom galvatron as he's as cartoon accurate as we've ever got the fusion cannon could be a little better because this part here doesn't look that great but the rest of the cannon that translucent orange and remember, I'm colorblind, so that could be another color, but I'm pretty sure on this one. Really like the, the cannon and the paint application, the silver and black. I think that works really well. If you look at Gen Select Galvatron, a lot less paint application on the cannon here. It's just that one purple. and But the cannon looks much more interesting because of all the sparkles. I think it really makes that cannon shine a lot more. Taking a look at the arms, you have you know that gray joint here, and then the fist is the same color as the rest of the arm, with of course the battle damage. But then here you have a gray hand, and everything is purple, um, so a little different in uh, where they apply the paint. The shoulder guards have two tone on the Kingdom one, which I think looks amazing. This is one color, could use maybe a little uh, detail. Only one tone. The original G1 had a sticker here. Uh, to enhance the uh, figure, but I still think it looks uh, pretty good. The Matrix is different. This is my fourth Matrix. I have uh, one for Optimus Prime and one from Rodimus Prime, which I'll review later. This is extremely cartoon accurate. It was just that plain green in the comics. I think it looks great. The chest here with the... I don't call that battle damage. It reminds me more of when the Matrix was shining in uh, the movie and it reflected off his chest a little bit. Actually, let me show you what I mean. There you go. So th that's what this reminds me of. And I think it looks amazing. Of course, no battle damage on the Generation Select, so a lot of people will like that. This is extremely accurate to uh, the G1 toy. Uh, this is cartoon accurate, of course. Uh, looks amazing. The legs are also painted uh, very differently. Uh, you have Toes here that are painted black, here it's the whole foot. Three tone shin guard with the purple, the red and the black. I think it looks good, but I do think that I prefer this one here with the dark gray and silver. On the side you can see the difference in shoulder, improperly assembled, properly assembled. And I will not fix this one because my skills as a customizer are not that great. The tank threads are different, black, dark gray but the chrome is the same. I think it looks good on both robots. The Galvatron ship, which I can't remember the name, if there was one, is the same molding. Yeah, it's pegged differently because this one pegs downwards better. This one, they just wouldn't hold for some reason. I don't really care for those accessories and I honestly could have done without this. Another part is the uh, back neck guard, which uh, is two layered color here, a simple purple here. Still both of them look really good. And then right at the bottom, the heel 
is a different uh, color and then you have those uh, calves here painted differently and again i think both color scheme really work with each respective figure and now for some size comparison here is with commander class rodimus prime which i think they scale pretty nicely former self earthrise megatron i didn't realize how much bigger was galvatron and earthrise prime again i did not realize how much galvatron was bigger than uh, optimus either it's pretty so megatron and optimus scale really well together but galvatron scales better with rodimus and i think that's pretty cool so you can display them you know if you want to reenact some scenes they scale better with each other and now with unofficial herald of unicron raziel gain figure from inputs reviews and customs and with fellow minions of unicron cyclonus and scourge which is actually a sweep or maybe this looks better let me know what you think in the comment do you think it looks better with the gen select or the kingdom galvatron all right so now let's go over transformation <laughs> Let's start with this one. What you want to do is remove the accessories so that they don't hinder your movements. So first thing you're gonna fold the heel into the foot and then you're gonna pop these calves and peg them in the back here and here and then you're going to peg those together like this and there you go boat well almost finished transforming there you go let's see if this fits uh, yeah it fits so as you can tell very different colors but both bot look great the two gray tones here look amazing. This is a silvery type versus the dark metallic gray. I think both look awesome. You have the matrix pegged in both to give some added power to the cannon. I think the ships here do a better job to give the cannon mode a little punch. I think overall I like the kingdom one better, but one cool feature about the generation select one is this. They have a rub symbol and it works. Kind of hard to put on camera, but looks great. It's gonna give us some room. Taking a full look at the cannon, you have the support. It, it's kind of, you know, you have to really play with it to angle it properly. You can give it some more angles if you want to with the toe tilt, but then you have to play with the treads so that you can have him, you know, shoot, shoot a little higher if you want to. So that you can aim at Starscream and disintegrate him. I really like this mold. This is one of the figure I've been playing with. Well, the Kingdom one, I've been playing a lot with. Transforming him back and forth because I think it's a fun transformation. There's so much nostalgia in one package. And now I have double the nostalgia. So it's pretty amazing. And now let's have some scales with Spoiler Pack 2 Nemesis Prime. Of course, you'd expect a uh, flat nose to be bigger than a space cannon, but still works. Rainmaker Nova Storm, which is also a Christmas gift that I'll have to review soon. And I think that looks pretty awesome. And Buzzwordy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee. And I think that scaling looks great. You'd expect Galvatron to tower over Bumblebee like that. All right, so in the end, I think both of these figures are simply fantastic. The cartoon accuracy on this one is absolutely stunning. And the toy color on this one, you know, even the face is painted differently. I think they really nailed it. It brings back a, a good memory of a trip that ended up being, you know, kind of a bad trip for me because I couldn't play with the toy my friend had lent me, but it's a memory with my dad. So I love both these figures. They're amazing. It's going to look great on the display. My wife got me this one and I'm extremely happy and I don't think I could have 
had a better Christmas. I'll review the other toys I received soon. So thanks guys, that was my uh, first, uh, my review of my first Christmas gift. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I always love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!